So the students are back on the streets after more than three months break because of the coronavirus, right? All right. So what do you make of the latest demonstrations by the students? Uh, the, the thing is, like, of course, like, uh, uh, it has been started months ago before yeah. the pandemic of the, the COVID-19. And of course, like, uh, we expected that uh, maybe the, the momentum of uh, the rally would not uh, continue or would yeah. be discontinued because uh, it has been suspended for uh, quite a certain period of time. Yeah. But I think it's like there, there are certain conditions that uh, uh, make, uh, how you call that, like uh, the wake of the new wave of mm. this uh, rally. Uh, there are certain points that are very important. For example, like the, uh, the, 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 the protracted uh, using of uh, uh, enforcing of the, the emergency decree, uh -huh. uh, which means actually like uh, uh, the, in several countries they have stopped you know, after uh, it's just some few weeks, but uh, <clears throat> the pro prolongation of the enforcement of the emergency decree uh, also, how you call it, like uh, calling for uh, some kind of uh, united emotion mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, under the, the uh, how you call it, uh, authoritarian government, yeah. uh, there, there are certain, uh, certain laws that have been enforced for too long and it has been uh, using as a legal instrument uh, in order to control people. So I think that's, that's, that's how, how, how it is in, 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 in this kind of uh, circumstances. So there are some new factors in, uh, uh, that, that uh, led the students to take to the streets, right? Of course, there was the discontentment is a that's right. continuation of, of, the, of the sentiments from the previous months, right? That's but right. now you have the coronavirus and the, the impact and then the continuing use of the state of emergency. That's right. But it looks like the students are not afraid <coughs> of the state of emergency because it's still in effect, right? <laughs> uh, because like uh, there, there are certain uh, uh, conditions of it. Because like uh, the students are trying to argue mm -hmm. that uh, what they are doing uh, is under the constitution. Mm -hmm. So then uh, the, uh, there are certain rights that have been given uh, according to the constitution, uh, the rights uh, to uh, assembly peacefully, yeah. and of course, like uh, they are uh, trying to in, uh, uh, indicate that uh, the instruction that they have given to the protesters uh, are set, uh, at a certain point comply with the uh, public health regulations. Uh -huh. So then, uh, uh, it is quite difficult for the government uh, to uh, exercise any laws in order to stop. Uh, the public assembly uh, without being accused of uh, violating the constitution by themselves. <laughs> you must have seen the reaction on social media world. On yeah. the one hand, people are quite strongly supportive of the students, mm -hmm. mostly must be young people. Yeah. But on the other hand, you can see how older people raise questions whether mm -hmm. this is true and why are they doing this at this mm -hmm. very juncture. So from from viewpoint of peace activist, what do you like people to see this in perspective? Uh, it is good that people start to question. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessary that uh, everyone will agree with the, the, the protesters or with the, uh, with the students, but uh, as long as they start to question and just try to gather the information and try to answer those questions by themselves. Mm -hmm. So then I think this is the, this is the way that the democratic society should be. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't uh, really aim that uh, everyone in this society will agree with the students, but uh, I hope that everyone who disagree uh, would, be, would be capable in, uh, to question and uh, to, to question uh, uh, with uh, certain reasons, uh, rational, uh, to put some rational questions and try to, to, to look for the answers yeah that are logical answers. Mm -hmm. So then uh, this is how, how uh, we can have, uh, how you call that, uh, some kind of debates or, or peaceful debates yeah. and uh, some kind of argument. So it's good that, uh, <laughs> they, that, it's good that they, they start to question. Yeah. Yes, no, but, but the, the big challenge is how to prevent these, uh, these uh, demonstrations or the students' movement from becoming another factor that would further divide the society, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you see the, the ways forward that, that students can continue with their, with their mm -hmm. exercises, right? Which is within the, we believe, within the constitutional right. And then 
the other on the other side of the aisle, there are people as Kun Tat Thanh said against it, yeah. and and of course there have always been fear that uh, this thing could blow up in another open conflict or even violent conflict. Uh, we have to believe. I mean, we have to uh, understand that Thailand has been polarized mm. for over a decade. <laughs> so, uh, what can make a broken glass mm. more broken? <laughs> so we are we are already in the deep, deeply divided society. Mm. So then, uh, but uh, let's make it this way: that okay, we know that we don't we don't agree with each other. We know that in this society we are different. We are, we are different than each other, and maybe we are even uh, in the different uh, polars, uh, mm -hmm. and we are put uh, in the different polarizations uh, of the political camps. But then, how people who are already polarized mm -hmm. can live or can live together in the same society? Mm -hmm. I think this is the way that we have to find a solution. Uh, I don't require or I don't uh, expect that Thai people will be totally united. And I think that's going to be a kind of uh, 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 dictator uh, society. <laughs> uh, or, so then uh, if we are already aware yeah. that our society is already divided, yeah. so try to find certain ways mm -hmm. that uh, totally different uh, uh, opinions, different yeah. uh, political ide ideologies uh, have certain space that we can exchange. Yeah. Uh, for those who are opposing the action of the students, please feel free mm. to, to, to give your own opinion and, uh, and try to, and please, when you uh, uh, express your opinion, try to uh, provide some uh, justification to those opinions uh, with certain logics that can explain to the other people. There might be something that is very useful for those who are opposing mm. the, opponi or the, 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 the action of the students that might be useful to uh, make our democratic society grow mm. and, and growing up and, 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 and progress in the future. But do you think the, the <coughs> students' demands, especially ones uh, calling on the house to be dissolved yeah. and a new constitution to be drafted, yeah. I think, do you think they are practical or they are reasonable? I mean, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. These are the these are the political uh, instruments. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, like to dissolve the House of Representatives is also a means uh, and also a, uh, uh, the political tools that uh, can be can be used uh, when there are certain uh, different opinions and certain uh, conflict uh, po political conflict. Uh, in, in the society. Yeah. So then to dissolve the, uh, the parliament, so then it means that uh, to let the people decide again of what kind of political camps that people prefer mm. to be holding the government administration power. Mm. And then that's, 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 how, that's how it goes. Yeah. So I, I don't see any, uh, any uh, opposition to, to such idea. Mm. And then to another uh, uh, condition is Actually, they have. There, there, there are three, yeah. right? The, 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 the second is uh, when they are requesting to, to have like the people constitution draft. That's right. Yeah. Uh, of course, we we acknowledge that uh, this constitution has a lot of problems, a lot of uh, uh, obstacle, mm -hmm. and there are so many things that uh, uh, needs to be uh, uh, amended. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, like uh, if we can have a constitution. Uh, that all the people could participate. Uh, all kind of camps or, or political concerns yeah. can be participating. So then it's going to be a constitution for everyone. Right? So then I think that's also a, a means mm. to, solve, to resolve the conflict. Because we, uh, when we set uh, a kind of rules that everyone can share and everyone acknowledge and aware and respect so then uh, it's going to be a kind of fair play in the mm. political arena. And then, uh, of course, like uh, when we talk about uh, the Constitution, the Constitution is uh, it's just like a commitment uh, between the states and the people who live in the state. Mm. So then if this commitment uh, contains the people preference, mm. so I wholeheartedly believe that people will respect this Constitution. Uh, the third one is about the ending of the harassment. Yeah, juridical <laughs> harassment and, and 
uh, <clears throat> a kind of uh, intimidation. That's the, the first thing the government can really comply with <laughs> easily uh, if they want to. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, these three things uh, uh, can be done yeah. if if there are some some preference from from the authorities, and of course, like, uh, but we, we we can see that uh, how uh, how this group of uh, students uh, and the youth uh, come up because like uh, uh, lately, mm -hmm. the enforced disappearance uh, mm -hmm. that was uh, uh, that has been. Uh, you know, like uh, a kind of the norms of the people in this society and has been ignored by the authorities. So that's also some, somehow mm. peop, uh, the, the people, people see that uh, there are some kind of injustice uh, happened in this society. And that's why uh, many of their friends and colleagues uh, who have been uh, uh, coming out and trying to express uh, their op uh, political opinions have been arrested. Mm. So I think this is how they learn uh, the, the negative impact from, uh, from the extreme uh, authoritarian exercise. So that's why they, they, they just want the opposite side of it, which is the democracy. Mm -hmm. so. Not far from Thailand, and the most recent case is about Hong Kong. Yeah. We can see how the protesters are coming mm -hmm. out and protest for yeah. years. But finally, the Chinese government used the law, mm -hmm. national security law, to quell the, the protest. Mm -hmm. What's the risk or what's the possibility mm -hmm. of, of this kind of risk in Thailand that, that you can project that if the government go extreme and mm -hmm. using the law to try mm -hmm. to stop the protester, yeah. what would be the scenario? Uh, the thing is like Thailand is not China. Uh, and of course like uh, the, the, the way that uh, to exercise the power uh, will not lead to any uh, to the end uh, or the, to the conflict resolution, the thing is like uh, if I have to ask a question uh, to the public and even to the authority, that uh, the situation in Hong Kong is totally uh, completely finished. I don't think it is really finished. It just only stop uh, some kind of uh, activities for some times, and then of course like there there will be. Uh, certain of uh, a period of time that it will break out, and then uh, that's that that's the clarification that uh, uh, if we had if the Thai government wants to follow the same path, uh, it's not going to be a very beautiful uh, and uh, rosy path. Uh, it's going to be very rough and rocky rocky ones. Mm. So then, uh, if you believe that uh, to exercise the power. Uh, I think they, 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 they have to understand that they have done that for six years yeah. when they have full authority in hand mm -hmm. and they still could not stop this kind of, uh, this kind of movement. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, the enforcement of these the extreme uh, authoritarian laws uh, it's just like when you uh, it's just like an action and a reaction uh, effect. Uh, you put the basketball very hard into the wall, it bounced back harder. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, when you have to uh, make it uh, rebound uh, harder, so that it's bound back even harder. Mm -hmm. So then uh, the, the more authority that Thai authority will be used, uh, you can expect that the reaction will be even harder and very risky mm -hmm. uh, uh, to risk the violence. And of course, uh, any government that uh, 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 begin to use the violence against the people, uh, the life of the government is uh, extremely short. Mm. But on the other hand, we see how Joshua Wong yeah. is trying to say that it's time to help our friends in Thailand yeah. to Thank try you. to empower. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for the student activists themselves, mm -hmm. what, what should be the, the line that they should be careful as well? Uh, the thing is, like, I don't have a direct uh, affiliation with the organizer of, of the rally. So I don't know exactly what they think about. I just only appreciate what they do. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, like uh, uh, on the way coming here, I, I talked on, uh, on the phone with uh, one of my colleagues that uh, uh, it would be very good if uh, they learn some experiences from uh, the other demonstrations or rallies. Uh, because uh, first of all, the intention of having a peaceful demonstration 
uh, replies a lot of uh, experiences. And then if there are some experience learned uh, from uh, the other countries or, the, or from the other uh, the demonstrations, so then it's more likely that they can handle the, the, the demonstration in Thailand uh, more peacefully. Mm -hmm. So then uh, it is always good to learn experience from the other uh, mm -hmm. people or the other countries. You know, but, it, but uh, for some people, uh, it looks like the students are stepping on a rather dangerous ground, largely because the, some of them anyway are trying to give the impression that they want to drag in the monarchy into this picture of conflict. Mm -hmm. So what would be your note of caution for the students as far as this particular issue is concerned? Uh, the thing is, uh, we, we are uh, under the uh, constitution monarchy. So then the, the monarchy is one of political, how you call it, like the, the authority, the, uh, the, the structure yeah. of this country. So then uh, to mention about the, about the monarchy mm -hmm. is always possible mm -hmm. because we talk about the monarchy all yeah. the time. So, uh, we, actually, we cannot stop talking about, yeah. about the monarchy. But the thing is like uh, to criticize the monarchy or uh, any, uh, not just even mo monarchy, to criticize other people uh, to have a kind of uh, 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 considered uh, wordings in, in talking about these institutions, individuals, or even the institution like the monarchy uh, uh, would, be, uh, would be suggested. Mm. Because then uh, uh, we will proceed into, a, uh, into a, uh, the, how you call that, the, the, uh, the, 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 the era mm. when we can talk about institutions that are important to our country uh, with some rational, mm -hmm. not, not, not with the angers yeah, or, with, emotions, yeah. or emotions yeah. or things yeah. like that. So then uh, I think uh, we believe that uh, other authorities or even uh, those who are involved with the monarchy mm -hmm. by, the, uh, by themselves uh, yes. would be able to accept mm -hmm. uh, the very fair and frank opinions with the rational ways of expressing those mm -hmm. opinions. You mean within the framework of a big uh, political picture of the country, right? That's right. But not out of personal dislike or uh, emotions. Uh, this issue. I, I think like uh, for the uh, personal uh, emotion, uh, we, we can talk with friends at home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but to talk uh, in the public, I think uh, we, yeah. we try to set, uh, how you call it, de deliberative mm -hmm. democracy. Uh, deliberative De democracy means that you can criticize everyone, That's right. but when you criticize, you have to be uh, caution that you have to have a manner yeah. in the criticism. Constructively. Constructively, yeah, that's But right. so far we haven't yet heard a reaction from the Prime Minister, right. who is the main target of the demonstrators, that's right? right. What, do you th what options do you think he has short of meeting all the demands of the students? Uh, Does he have any other options? Maybe he wants to listen more uh -huh. to understand. So then, uh, uh, right now, uh, maybe he doesn't catch enough like the, of the communication but but that's that that happens in uh, very uh, in, in so many uh, circumstances that uh, uh, there are some demonstrations or uh, rallies so it takes some time for the authority to uh, how you call that to analyze the situation to analyze the information and then to, at certain point they will have to come up to respond to that uh, but, 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 but you have a feeling that he might be under, underestimating the strength of the student movement. Uh, I don't think so. You know, like if somebody just come up and say bad things uh, about you all the time, uh, I don't think anybody can, uh, 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 apart from those who have reached nirvana, mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> they, 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 they can just it's like us. very guess. difficult. Yeah, but so then if uh, otherwise, the, you have to have some certain feelings uh -huh. or, or certain reactions soon. So mm -hmm. then that, I think that's, that, that, that's how the na nature of the human being.